Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. I found this yesterday morning in a... Um, was it yesterday morning? This one was found in a... Um, a street library not far from where I live you know those street libraries those little boxes that they put on the side of the street where people can just drop any random books in there well someone left a bunch of clothing in this uh, library this street library and I thought I'd souvenir of course Okay, let's see what we have here. It is a dress. Yeah, found in a one of those um, street libraries. So I'll just show you what the pattern looks like. Yeah, street library. Misguided, interesting term, misguided. Feels like my, I, I was misguided in life. I didn't believe in myself and I believed in the idiots that hated me, both at school and at church and fellowship. And I believed in them and I believed in their stupidity and I became, I did the wrong thing in life and made mistakes and I got misguided, folks. Misguided by my own stupidity brought on by assholes. So I'm not happy with what I did, and I'm trying my best to get this. Now this is wrong. I've got to set it differently. I was meant to change it to 100. But yeah, I really miss my friend Luigi, and I'm not with him because of these being misguided by these people that treated me like shit. That made me either that either teased and bullied me, or made me just feel a bit frozen. Uh, the church was a more subtle, mostly a more subtle form of vilification. It wasn't. There was teasing and bullying at church as well, or at fellowship. Some of the younger kids used to put the boot in, so as to speak, and make me feel stupid. And the people at church, some of them were really snooty and snotty about things, and they didn't think that I was... I just didn't fit in, folks. I didn't fit in with the um, social set of church. And I still don't feel... Every time I go to church to see how things are, I feel frozen. Like these people don't care. They don't have any feelings. They don't have any fucking sympathy. I even went, did a test on a church recently. I went to a church, a Pentecostal church in... Um, not far from where I live, and I asked if I need, if I could use their toilet, and they said they don't normally allow people to use their toilet if or something. And she was going to let me use it, but when the to she found the toilet was locked, uh, she wouldn't let me go into the church. She said something like she had to keep they had to keep count of the number of people in the congregation or some lame excuse and it really like I felt really unwelcome I felt why well, what am I supposed to be a fucking number do churches really have to count their fucking patrons you know do they really have to fucking make the toilet unavailable I thought churches are for people who come in off the street say for example needing a feed a, a person a, a street beggar now what would that how would that go if I was a street beggar and I was busting to use the toilet? You know, seriously, folks, that person has... 
that church ought to be ashamed of themselves. And they just, and the music they play is just shit anyway. Uh, whatever. But yeah, there was, they were a bit snooty about the toilet. Um, but that's ridiculous, you know? If you, why can't, I thought churches were meant to have open doors to people who are homeless, to people who are down, down and out. I thought that like, people can walk off the street and start to worship, even if you're another Christian from another church. Isn't it okay to just go in and just worship? Aren't all, you know, why, why does it have to be so fucking exclusive? You know, like a fucking boys and girls club. It's not a fucking boys and girls club, folks. You know, fuck yous. You know? So if you're the person at that church, I was wearing a white COVID mask and a, and a back to front hat, um, hat and I was wearing sunglasses and I asked you to go to the toilet, if I could use the toilet. I don't know why you wouldn't, you couldn't just talk to someone about it. Churches are meant to be open doors, not fucking built boys and girls exclusive clubs. That's bullshit. You know, that's fucking bullshit, folks. You know, churches are meant to be open doors. I thought that's how I was taught. So I know there were some nice people in my church, but I seem to remember more often the bad people, that what they did wrong to me and all that. Um, but basically, yeah, misguided. Yeah, and now the churches are really snooty and up themselves. And why, why can't I just use the fucking toilet, you know? I mean, seriously. It's human, you know? I thought churches are meant to represent the best in humanity. But obviously this one didn't. And I thought Pentecostal churches, of course, were spirit-filled, filled with supposedly the Holy Spirit of God. I thought, you know, I don't understand what, what the problem was with the toilet. I know, there's, I know there's a lot of violence around, but if you're not scared of death, well, why, why worry about it, you know? Stick, you know, just do yourself... Oh, whatever, folks, what fucking ever. But, you know, that's just really, really, really snotty. I think it's the culture of church has changed a lot over the years. I should try some other churches and see if I get a similar response or a different one. But that was ridiculous in my books. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.